you voted and I'm playing engineer at this game which I actually like this hero so I'm quite happy that you voted for engineer and for starting items I think I'll go for something like this Leave no parts behind. wait a second Okay, so he doesn't want a solo top against the heroes. I was like, okay, Mage Ben wants a solo lane. What? He's not gonna get any farm unless it's like super noobs or something. But I guess he realized, yeah, we have a keeper on our team, so I don't know. I kind of jump into the game, but I never really explained the heroes or picks because that stage is missing to make a shorter video, obviously. So I have a keeper, a good support with mage bin bottom so that's cool we have dr pulsar mid don't see nearly enough of this hero he's pretty cool like not in competitive games not in normal games on the enemy team we have quite a few annoying heroes but nothing too special like their main carries are i suppose armadon and so forth and kind of fade if she gets out of hand but i doubt it so engineer what do i think about engineer well i think that people need to learn to play heroes how they like to play them like for every hero i have a well for every hero i like which is pretty much most of them i have a build that just works on the hero and, and just works for me and that's why i like playing the hero same for engineer the build i like is to max out your first skill and your third skill i don't really plan the mines that often like just planting them in one spot. I just take the skill because it's 150 magic damage on level 1. Which is pretty good. Yeah, this lane is gonna be really annoying, I can already tell. But how does he shoot it from such range? Yeah, Engineer's attack animation is pretty bad, but. Missile speed is pretty good to compensate. It's like near flints, if not better. He's an agility hero, but his scary aspect has faded. People don't really play him as a carry anymore. It's probably because all three of us skill I mean, or all four of us skills cost mana and depend on magic damage. He's not really tanky. So what else to do? Yeah, the third skill, I'll level it up once. Just for the 150 match damage, I really don't understand people who skip this. I mean, okay, you can like level up your second skill over the third one. But don't skip it entirely, it's 150 magic damage. Right now this marcher is tanking creeps, which is really good. That's why I'm just keep, I keep attacking and don't stop. No idea where Excel Force has not turned his aura off because he's pushing the lane. It's almost nothing. Your range is 500, which is lower than Martyrs by 100. And why he can do this, this kind of stuff. Stay near the tower or you're done when they do this kind of stuff. But as you can see, I do quite a lot of damage. He even got the lifesteal off. If I just juke around this tr these trees, I should be more than fine, I think. Okay, that was impossible. As you can see, it still triggers even if he runs out of range, which is pretty good, I think. So, Force is back at level 3. Ah, oh, he got first blood a bit sooner than me. Damn it, but I killed them both at least. Lucky there, but oh well. Ooh. 
Let's see, they, they towered out of quite a lot, so I'm gonna get boots. Instead of going for other items for now. I just need to survive in this lane, and boots will help me with that. Besides, he got boots as well. I can plant two mines now, so if he decides to tower dive me, he'll be in a lot of trouble. The line is pushed. I just need the levels. I don't really need farm, especially against the self for smart terrain. I can't really afford to be aggressive against these guys. So it's no surprise they're getting all the last hits, really. Just have to make sure to try and stay in the experience range. Yeah, Marcher is missing. Yeah, sorry. GTFO, bro. Okay, I'm gonna try bait him. By attacking this Hellkin, but he will probably throw. Nope, he will go. Oh yeah, there's a cooldown on my mines, I forgot. Mm, close, if he didn't heal on me, I would have probably killed him. Mm, that life still is so annoying to deal with. And the movement speed gives also increases per level, which is quite annoying. Good thing I have a glacius to at least keep my mana up, but looks like I need health or I am dead. My turret is my best friend. Or just stay in experience range, that's enough. If you get a last hit, that's good, but don't try too hard. Just stay alive, trust me. Okay, now with my ultimate, if I position correctly, I might be able to take him down. Then again, he also has his ult, which can spell quite a bit of trouble for me. I'll just wait in hopes that he decides to tower dive. Making one attack there because I know it takes the tower exactly three hits to kill a creep, but I won't be able to last hit it after two. So I need a one attack before one, um, yeah, attack before that. Missing top, so for us. Yep, there he is. I thought he went to the side shop, so didn't really think he went to gank. This is what I live. Oh, oh, Care middle top still missing. He could go. No, never mind. He's still. He's quite annoying too. I wonder if I should go help the guy. He's just low on mana. He won't be able to help me with anything except creeps, which is my main concern. And I need levels. I want to stay in this lane. Okay, I think I'll leave my third skill for now and start leveling up my second one. No, oh, she's back. Should try to harass him a bit. His ghost marcher is so not going to be easy playing against him. No! Goddamn catapult. He's still here. That 
was a perfect deny. Like, perfect. Well, he's trying something, but my ultimate is really powerful. Don't underestimate Engineer's ultimate. I can't screw him over if he decides to tower dive. Like he's doing now. See, that wasn't too bad. Even got so forest. And if I wasn't stunned for so long, I could maybe get fate too. Yeah, not getting many ganks from Keeper so far, but whatever, you know. So let's finish Grave Locker because it's a good item and heroes that need mana, which pretty much most of them, except for like Ra or something. I don't know, Ra might need me too. This guy's pretty low. He doesn't know where. I'm gonna try again at the bottom actually. Let's see what I can do here. I think they have wards. He was kind of too careful, I, I'd say. Yeah, I think they have wards here. This is pointless. Should return to my lane ASAP. Or at least try to help this guy. God damn it, I cancelled it! I was stunned and I cancelled it out of my stun. As you can see, the range of that is pretty ridiculous. Ah, I'm being so useless right now because I suck. I cannot believe this. Well, this is not good. Alright. Okay, I have enough mana for a keg. Maybe we can take him down. Never mind. He's full on health and very low mana. The control point is being captured. The Hellborn have destroyed the Legion Tower. You serious? He just. I should stay near creeps or my my allies because otherwise I'm done. No, <laughs> Lol. Please kill him. <sighs> that was horrible on my part. At least this guy's good. Absolutely. I still cannot get over this ultimate. I was stunned and I cancelled it while stunned and it still went off after it was over. I don't know, maybe a lag or something, but it's quite annoying. Well, things don't go the way they're supposed to. So since they have Armadon and Sulphurus, who spam skills a lot, I think I'm gonna get a power supply, especially since I have a ton of totems. Good idea. I'm also gonna go mid and oh, get a ward. Engineer is initiator slash support, which is pretty much most of the initiators, they're slash supports. The key items are... no, stop kicking him. Key items are tablet of command and portal key. Tablet of command to push people through your ultimate, through the edge. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I'm gonna push this lane a bit. This is what I live. Oh wow, two creeps and one health. Oh, lucky. And of course, it gets the last hit. 
Should be able to get them. Yep. Probably like my second skill again. I'm gonna leave my third one at level 2. It's 200 damage already, and on level 4 it's only 300, like, comparable. If someone's teleporting, I definitely cannot stay here. It's so forest to not go people. Gonna come and try help. She's dead. Yeah, my third skill slowed him. My second skill, I mean, slowed him quite a bit. It wasn't too bad. And <laughs> your pulsar also died from neutrals, which is also awesome. Nice there. So. Nice. And I got my grave locket charged too. Or was it his locket? Oh, it was his locket. Mine was charged already. So I'm thinking Ghost Marchers or Steam Boots. And I'm thinking Ghost Marchers more this game. And I don't really need the attack speed and tankiness. And I could use the movement speed. <laughs> Lol. Stuck. If I had to choose between Portal Key and Tablet of Command first, definitely Tablet of Command. You need the extra mana more than being able to initiate with a Portal Key. And the push is just like a Portal Key anyway from Tablet of Command, so get it. It's good for you, okay? So I don't need this gold yet. I'll get it. He made me invisible, which I will try and abuse, but don't promise anything. I can reveal myself here, and then I'm no longer invisible here. Now they know I'm near, but they're too afraid to come close. Obviously. So we got that guy, now we need to get this guy too. Oh, Hellflower already! Who has Hellflower? A keeper of the forest Hellflower. Yeah, my views on Hellflower changed from tryhard item to... Well, it's still tryhard item, but it's good on virtually any hero. Honestly. Because if you look at the stats... Hellfire. It's an offensive item, first of all, and second, look, it only gives 20 intelligence, 51 damage, and 30 attack speed, so it's not necessarily bad on non-intelligence heroes. It still gives quite a lot of good stuff. So, yeah, since I wanted to go for it, why do they keep kicking Martyr? Martyr sure likes to swear, but I sure hate vote kick more than he swears. Your third skill can be used very well to farm. I mean, it's 200 damage every 7 seconds. That's definitely not bad. Okay, they're magic minion and nothing I can do here. These guys, on the other hand, I can take down. I should do it. And that's my Ghost Marchers complete as well. So, how I position my items in inventory if this has been like some secret to anyone. I put activatable items in order, so first and most important activatable item is gonna be Alt Q in the first slot, then it's gonna be Power Supply, Alt W, and when I have a hatchet I always put it in this slot because it's Alt A, which A is attack, so it's kind of 
tight to attack anyway. So right now, what is more important? Ghost marches, of course, because I use them more often. So I'm gonna change it up like this. I think I can afford to use my tablet once in the mana region will regenerate by the time I get there. So forest is pretty low and in forest is pretty low too. I could try get her. Let's try this. Definitely dead. Oh one hell. No 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 not worth it, not worth it. Back, 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 back. Oh well, I don't think she would survive. Did she teleport in time? Oh well. Oh wait, no, she did not. She somehow survived that. That's weird. Just kill her. So she somehow survived going through my ultimate with that low. I guess she used her heal before going through it or something. And she's quite fast too, which I'm surprised. So yeah, your third skill people underestimate it. They think that the mine has to be set for it to work. Actually, if you place it in melee range... Wait, 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 I'm dying. Okay, no longer dying. <laughs> Okay, that was bad, but whatever, he's dead. If you place the mine in melee range, I'm not sure how fast they have to be or how slow they have to be, but if he has average movement speed, the mine will chase after him, even if he just runs away straight as you use it, like right after you use it. Like, see, the mine chases quite well. Much better than you might think. He's really trying hard to kill me. I'm the main bait right now. Which I don't mind at all. I'll bait, no problem. Oh my god. Oh. That was perfect vision there. It just disappeared when fate was there. Oh wow, he dropped. This guy, will he survive? No, he's dead, unfortunately. Oh well, I have the charged grave locket, so I respawn 10 seconds faster, yay! <clears throat> okay, that sounded gay. Seriously, I should not have said gay. And saying gay is also bad. I don't mean it in a bad way, but... It sounded bad, okay? My teammates kind of need help. Oh. Holy scary TP, remember? Remember? Absolutely <laughs> Yeah, this guy is not dead. But... Oh, he was AFK. Too much rage top lane or what? Supply really, really good against Armadon and um, his name is Alphorus. Kind of against Nymphora too because she spawns. Uh, she, what is it called? Spams, there we go, not spawns. She spams. Does it work? That sucks. I should have pushed him the other way, but okay. This guy's missing all of his hits because he doesn't know he cannot attack Kangor outside of his lair. Oh, 
turn, that's my Grave Walker charged. Yeah, man. Start praying, boy. I'm just right going bottom now. Because why not? Yeah. Pushing other lanes than mid, like top and bottom, is kind of easier. I don't know, it just says. Fade is probably invisible right now. Oh wait, no, she's dead. I'm making nonsense. Oh, towers left. Hello, <laughs> job. I'm gonna plant a couple of mines here. Creeps should die. Yeah, two mines clear out the way. Not sure why they're not conceding. Really not sure. No, finally. It's been quite a while. So yeah, that's engineer. That's like there are different ways to play them, and this is the way I feel comfortable with. Sometimes I teleport into lane before the game starts to set up mines, but not too often, especially not when I'm solo. I really also don't understand people who entirely skip the third skill. Just grab one level, it's 150 magic damage on level 1. Please don't skip it, it's really good. You can max out whatever you want after that. Just please, just grab one level, it's really good skill. And yeah, the item build. My next item would be Portal Cane. After that, you're pretty much done. That's, that's Engineer done. You can go for, I guess, damage items or something. Meh. Yeah. And also, the Dota 2 beta key contest. The feedback on that was amazing. Like, I already got quite a few. I was expecting much less, but yeah, keep them coming. It's more fun and more Han fun. Just people creating Han content. That was the best idea ever. Yeah, keep sending me more. And yeah, you can send more than one like, for the contest if you think like you didn't do a good enough job. Just no problems, make another one. Uh, you can even make like 10, I don't care. Just make more. And see you next time.